hello welcome back so today i wanted to do an unboxing video um i may have a problem i have a whole bunch of kalimbas and yet i'm still like oh another kalimba um so i was puttering around amazon um a couple days ago and just every now and then i'm like oh i wonder you know what kalimbas are popular and if there are any new ones, if any new developments have come out in the kalimba world. And so I stumbled upon this kalimba. Um, I have never heard of this brand. And at first glance, it just, it seemed like any other open box style 17 key kalimba. Um, I will say what caught my eye was the design around the sound hole. Um, I thought that was really nice. But when I clicked the link and I looked at it, this one supposedly has a completely different kind of sound bar. Um, so the problem that you tend to get, especially with open box kalimbas, but really with any, um, I don't know, regular kalimba is buzzing tines. Um, I actually am having an issue right now with my gecko open box kalimba. It's the first kalimba that I ever bought. I've only had it since April, but you know. <laughs> um, it's played fine up until now, but a couple days ago it started having this really just awful, it's beyond buzzing, this, this sound is just terrible. Um, so I've tried, you know, wiggling the time back and forth and um, it kind of helps if the key is like tilted really far. <laughs> But when I put it back into the normal playing position, it just makes that racket again. So I have to figure out what's going on with this kalimba. I digress. So um, I just got this this new kalimba. Yeah, it's <laughs> hooray. Um, this is the brand. Like I said, never heard of it. But let's see what's going on. <laughs> so opening the box now this is the box that was shipped in it it didn't have any extra packing tape or anything or an extra Amazon box um, I think measures are being taken to reduce shipping materials um, oh this is a nice case actually <laughs> there's ta -da, nothing else in the box um, this is the first um, I guess landscape style case that I've ever seen. It's got this really nice like rubberized handle. It's super sturdy. Um, oh, that's that's a good case. <laughs> Let me just geek out about that for a second. <laughs> uh, so it looks like it's just a regular zipper closure. Ooh, I heard a note. Oh, it's got this nice foam. Oh, and it's cut to size. So Ooh, so this one, according to the description, which I can put a link down below, um, is made of acacia koa wood. This is the first kalimba that I have in my collection made of this type of wood. And so far as I know, just from other instruments, the type of wood will change the sound of the instrument a little bit. Um, so, ooh, I feel like I'm saying that a lot. Ooh. <laughs> So you've got your carrying bag, but this one, it's really fuzzy. Um, so it's almost like a, I don't know, maybe closer to a microfiber than some of the um, rougher materials like you get with a Luru or um, similar brand, but hooray, carrying bag for accessories. We've got, okay, honestly, I have never used these. <laughs> I tried when I got my first kalimba and they're awkward and they feel weird and I just I always set them aside. Um, I did see in another video that they can be useful for not scratching your tines um, if you do ever change your tines by yourself. So you can I guess put these over the tine and then get your pliers and not worry about marking it that way. But <laughs> silica gel yay! <laughs> it's actually very important. But Oh, this is a pretty kalimba. <laughs> See if I can get a little closer view there with the light. But yeah, so this design, um, it feels like it's laser engraved, but it's it's so pretty. And the tines, um, 
they're pretty standard. They don't have a, a severe curve down on them. Personally, I have a hard time with those. I have a Luru Kalimba. Um, actually, I have it right here. <laughs> Super handy. I have, you know, the 17 key whale Luru Kalimba, and it's got tines that curve down a lot more. Um, but for my playing style, it actually does kind of make things difficult sometimes. So let's take this. Oop. Okay, I went to take this out of the box and kind of took the foam with it. So, um, but under the foam, fun fact, we have our instruction booklet. <laughs> so this has, okay, it looks, it looks pretty standard. Um, to know about kalimba, and it gives you the anatomy of your kalimba um, for all the different key types, how to deal with buzzing tines. Honestly, this looks just like all of the other instruction booklets that I have gotten with my gecko kalimbas and with my luru and <laughs> with my, you know, other brand kalimbas. Um, you've got tabs. How to see spectrum. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, yeah, you just... It's all the same stuff, pretty much. Tabs, more tabs, hooray. Um, so you've got a nice cleaning cloth. This is, you know, microfiber cleaning cloth like, like you get. <laughs> But this one does feel nice and heavy. Um, I've gotten a couple that are really, um, the fabric feels very light, and I've noticed that they don't wipe the instrument as well. And then in the very bottom, you've got your tuning hammer, um, but this does have a little indentation so that um, you can set your instrument on top of it and not worry about it getting scratched. But as a precaution, I tend to store my kalimbas with the hammer down and then the cleaning cloth so that nothing is going to happen to the backside of my kalimba. So, here we go. Oh! So yeah, what I was talking about earlier is with a standard kalimba, you've got um, your Z bar and you've got your saddle and you've got your, you know, vibration bar and everything. But this one has this solid metal piece here with two sets of screws, well, two rows of screws. And <laughs> looks like it got jostled a little bit in transit, that's normal. Um, the description said this was to help eliminate buzzing tines. So we'll see. Um, and again, I don't know if you can see very well, but the tines are engraved, so it'll make It'll make playing pretty easy. Um, the downside to that is if you ever want to retune, <laughs> then you're going to have to keep in mind which keys you have moved. But let's see. So yeah, each, each tine sits in a little groove here instead of being, you know, in a rectangular opening. And it looks like with the way everything is arranged, it tends to put the tines at a little bit more of a fan orientation. So this might make playing a little bit interesting because all of my other kalimbas, I tend to have the tines all parallel to each other. All right, here we go. I will admit, um, the sustain is a little bit longer. It's, it's almost halfway between just the standard open box and then the slightly longer sustain that you get on something like a flat board. Um, but I was mostly impressed with these upper tines because that's a consistent problem, as a lot of you probably already know, <laughs> that with most kalimbas, at best you will have tight tines in those really, really high notes. Um, so yeah, let's, let's do another run through. The 
the sustain on this. Good. Like really good. <laughs> pleasantly surprised. I'll need to do a little bit more adjustment, but um, for right out of the box, I'm impressed. <laughs> um, for a side-by-side -side comparison, I also have um, my gecko kalimba that I was talking about earlier, the one with the, you know, noisy tine. And this one is a little bit more, you know, your standard style. This is the curly maple kalimba. Um, like I said, this is my first one ever, so sound comparison. sound dies down a lot more quickly um, but that time that noisy one I have mm. <laughs> so yeah I have to fix that but um, yeah this is it's got a nice sound to it I will admit I'm I'm pleasantly impressed and surprised and especially for the price point I'm not gonna argue um, so yeah like I said I will put a link down below to where I got this um, I was hesitant to buy it at first because it was one of those kalimbas. It had no reviews. It had no stars, no ratings. The seller was new and I'm just like, oh, oh, do I really, do I want to chance this? <laughs> but I'm, I am pleased. And, um, yeah. So <laughs> I feel like at this point I'm just going to start rambling. So I hope that this video finds you all well, and I will update you guys when I've gotten things squared away with my gecko kalimba. Hopefully I can get it fixed. I do have some spare tines, so I'm going to see if I can take it apart. And I may do a video for that whole process, just because it's going to be as educational for me as it is for you, because this is all really new. So <laughs> I look forward to seeing you later. <laughs> Bye.